Hey there, and welcome back once again. Well, I want to start by saying this. This is not how a person that's going to die or knows they're going to die acts. And some of the things that Jesus did before he died, we would consider shocking, to say the least. I know it shocked his followers. They didn't want to hear that Jesus was saying he was going to die. They, they didn't want to hear that. They, they kind of ignored it or stuck their fingers in their ears and went, la, 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 la. you know how that is. <laughs> but what Jesus does not only shock them, but was meant to teach them. So let's get into it. I want to welcome you again to another episode of Go and Do. The Word of God comes to us today from the Gospel according to John, the 13th chapter, the 1st through the 11th verse. Listen now what God's Word says. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given him all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to, to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. He then poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wiped them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet, Jesus. And the Lord answered him, saying, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter, Peter then said, Well then, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, the one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is entirely clean, though not all of you are clean. For he knew who was betraying him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. May God add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word and the living out of his word. Amen? You know, before Jesus shocked everyone by humbly kneeling down and washing the feet of the disciples. There was another part of the story that we didn't hear tonight. And two brothers, the sons of thunder as they're often called, were busy arguing with each other who would have the better seat next to Jesus at his right hand, which is a sign of authority. And there was nothing humble about what they wanted. You know, the mother came to them and, or came to Jesus and said, Lord, you know, you decide which one gets that seat. And Jesus is pretty clear. He said, that's not for me to decide. That's for God to decide. But, you know, it makes me wonder how often we try to get the best in everything. Humility seems to be on a rare occasion anymore. We want the best parking spot without thinking about others. We want uh, to be first. We want to get this before anyone else. We want to have more. We want to display more. We want to do more and, than anyone else. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with achievement in life, but when we step on others, there's nothing humble about that. <laughs> but, you know, Jesus calls us to do as he does. That's why this, these uh, episodes are called Go and Do, because Jesus calls us to go and to do, to do like him, to be like him, to serve like him, to walk like him, to talk like him, to love like him. 
And what Jesus shows us, he told Simon, he said, you don't understand right now what I'm doing. But later on, Peter did. Later on, Peter understood that this was an example. This was an example Jesus was setting. We wash other people's feet, although not physically, we do it when we pray for them, when we serve them, when we help them, when we, when we give our time to them. We wash their feet. We do that with the love that Jesus shows, that we humble ourselves. So my encouragement for you today in this Wednesday of Holy Week is to go and do like Jesus, to serve humbly, and to love. And remember, it's not first place. It's the idea that we are with Jesus. And he places us where we belong. And that is where he puts us first in his life. Let us go and do. We'll see you again. <laughs>